Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise Horn and today's video is a haul video. Now, I have been to a few different shops when I went out. I went to Primark, I went to Superdrug, I went to Poundland, I went to Boots and I went to Wilkinson's. And so this is everything that I bought when I went into Exeter the other day. So uh, yeah, I will show you what I got from I'll do Superdrug first. So in Superdrug, I went specifically looking for some moisturiser for my husband because he really likes the simple age resisting moisturiser. And um, I went into Wilkinson's, which is usually where I get it from, but they didn't have any. So I went into Superdrug and these were actually buy one get one free and so there were five pounds 99 and you bought one and you got one free now my husband really likes this moisturizer he says that it's non-greasy and he has got dry skin and he says it doesn't leave his skin dry throughout the day so um other moisturizers he's found that his dry patches come back through the day and so um, it did say to me that it's a really good moisturising moisturiser. Um, now this is SPF 15 and it says that it's got four skin loving nutrients, two vital vitamins and no artificial perfume or colour and it says that it will revitalise and regenerate, it softens, smooths and improves skin condition and it won't upset your skin. And so yeah, my husband absolutely loves this moisturiser. He did run out of this moisturiser recently and so I gave him a little sample moisturiser that I had and yeah, he really wanted to go back to his simple moisturiser. So he was really, really pleased when I told him that I'd got him some more moisturiser. But this was £5.99 and in Superdrug it is at the moment buy one, get one free. And so yeah, you got two for £5.99. Now usually I do get this around like about £3.50 usually because I think the RRP is £5.99 but you can usually get it for cheaper than that. But if um, they've obviously put the £5.99 RRP on because they buy one get one free but yeah really really nice moisturiser if you have got aging dry skin. So the next items that I got from Superdrug are both from their vitamin C detox skincare range and I got the invigorating skin booster and I got the refreshing facial cleanser. Now the skin booster, it says that it leaves your skin softer and brighter and it is with kakadu plum goji berry extracts. And then this has got the kakadu plum and goji berry but it's also got orange peel in the cleanser. Now the skin booster, it says after cleansing, apply a small amount of the booster directly onto the skin, then follow with the moisturiser. Alternatively, mix three to five drops in the palm of your hand and then mix with your chosen moisturiser. And so I was really intrigued about this because I have looked at the uh, vitamin C booster from Paula's Choice. But when I saw this, I thought I will give this a try because... I'm really into my skincare at the moment and I would really like to try some Paula's Choice skincare and some Drunk Elephant skincare. Those are the two things that I've seen and I really, really like the look of. But yeah, when I saw this, I thought for £4.99, I might as well give it a go. And then this, when you bought one from the range, you could get another item for half price. So yeah, I got the cleanser, which was... £3.74 and so I got this for half price so I saved myself £1.87 but it says that this leaves your skin invigorated, refreshed and revitalised and it says a vitamin C facial cleanser with orange peel is a multitasking formulation that deeply cleanses and exfoliates to remove excess oil and impurities formulated with exotic goji berry and kakadu plum extracts to give an extra boost of vitamin C to your skincare routine. Now the kakadu plum 
has the highest known concentration of vitamin C of any food on the planet apparently and the goji berry is a super fruit known to induce calm well-being and energy and it says for directions wet your face with warm water massage 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 a small amount of the cleanser onto your face in an upward and outward motion and then rinse off with warm water and pat dry. Now I'm really into vitamin C, I think I might have said that already but yeah I really like vitamin C because it is an antioxidant which will help um, defend your skin against all the pollutants and external aggressors and smoke and things like that and so yeah I um, I do like to add a little bit of vitamin C to my skincare routine and so uh, yeah really really looking forward to trying these two. So the final item that I got from Superdrug was from the brand Sanex and this is the Dermo Moisturising Foam Bath. Now I usually do get the sensitive foam bath from this range um, but I saw this and I thought I will give this a go and um, it smells really nice as well so yeah really looking forward to uh, trying that in my bath. I will show you the things that I got from Poundland. Now I was looking for certain things. I do need a new vase and I'd seen um, Mad About Beauty, Lisa's channel, and she had got herself a vase from Poundland so I thought I'll go in there and see if they've got any of those vases. Now they didn't have the one that Lisa got but they did have this little vase and yeah I quite like the um, the simplicity of it. It is quite a simple vase but I'm absolutely loving the colours and that it changes colour from like the top to the bottom. There's, it's, it's more like a yellowy colour but then there's a bit of purple at the top and so uh, yeah I thought that was quite different and so uh, yeah I thought that's a really nice little vase that for a pound I think that's really good value. Now the next three things that I've got are all little trinket dishes. So I got this one, which I think is really, really pretty. I've got this little watermelon little trinket dish and I've got this little zebra, little, uh, like a little zebra rug, I think that is. Um, but yeah, it's not a rug obviously, it's a little trinket dish, but yeah, it does remind me of a zebra rug. But uh, yeah, I thought these would be perfect for putting my rings on at the side of my bed, so I'd be able to use one for my rings. And then I did think that they are really cute, and so they'd probably be quite good for photographing products for my Instagram which if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Louise J Horn and so um, yeah I thought it would be quite nice little things to photograph little uh, products with just to add a little bit of interest into the, uh, into the photo so yeah those were all a pound each. So the next item that I got was these little storage baskets now I do have some of these already, I, um, I bought a couple of these, so I've got four of these, but in grey, now they didn't have any grey so I had to get the white, but I think these are really good for keeping bits in. Now I'll show you what I've got in my grey boxes, so I have got some of my palettes in one, just so that I can have a quick look, see which... A palette I'd like to use and uh, yeah I think it is really good to to store like your everyday makeup that you like to go to. I've also got my Benefit Minis all in one so that I can quickly get to a Benefit Mini if uh, I'm after something in particular. I've also got some bronzers, blushers and highlighters in another 
one of the baskets and I've also got some of my favourite lipsticks as well in one of these baskets and so yeah they all just go on my dressing table so that I can quickly get hold of some products and so uh, yeah I thought I'll have a couple more so that I can add a few other things as well onto my dressing table so yeah that's it from Poundland now I only got one thing from Wilkinson's and that was this little mug now when I saw it I thought I must have that I love mustard colour and I love Westies we used to have a Westie but unfortunately we lost him to cancer a couple of years ago. Now when I got home and I showed it to my husband, my husband said to me I think I'd like to take that mug to work with me and so yeah I think my husband's going to be taking it to work but yeah I thought that was such a beautiful little mug and it was only £2.50 and so um, yeah beautiful mug £2.50 from Wilco's. Now I didn't actually buy anything when I went into Boots. I did have a good look round but yeah I didn't purchase anything but I did go over to a lady on one of the perfume counters and I asked her if she had any um, free perfume samples. Now she was lovely and she asked me if I would like ladies or gentlemen's perfume samples and so I asked her if I could have a bit of both so yeah she uh, went downstairs and she came back with eight perfume samples so what she got me was the Marc Jacobs Daisy she got me Paco Urban 1 million the Givenchy Gentleman now that is my husband's favourite um, aftershave and so yeah, he does really like that. It's a really lovely um, smell for the gentleman. She gave me two Gucci Guilty colognes. She gave me a, a Zara Wanted Girl and I got two Mon Guerlain Eau de Perfume samples and so yeah I thought that was really nice of her to go and get me eight little perfume samples so yeah that's what I got from Boots. Now I'm going to show you everything that I've got from Primark. So the first thing that I can see are these little lanterns. Now these were £3.50 and they were reduced to £2 each and so when I saw these I thought they're quite pretty and so I thought they would look lovely on my dressing table to put some brushes in them and so I've got some brushes here just so that I can show you guys what I envisaged when I saw them so yeah I thought they would be really nice as little brush holders on my dressing table and for two pounds I thought bargain um, and I also did think that they are quite pretty and they could be something that I can shoot products with on Instagram and so yeah they'll probably be in the background of some new photos that are going to be going up on my Instagram but yeah £2 each for those. Now the next item is a skirt and this is a flowy black skirt with lovely little, um, little flower design on the material. Now this is, it's got some detail at the bottom and so it goes, it goes out at the bottom and I would say that it is a little bit longer at the sides than in the middle and so yeah I thought that is very pretty. I got this for £13 and this was in a size 12. The next item is some shoe liners. Um, I always grab shoe liners 
socks and knickers when I go to Primark so yeah I thought these one were really really pretty I love really love the mustard coloured socks I think they're really nice so uh, yeah those were £2.50 now like I said I do like going and picking up some knickers and so I got two packs of the five pack of thongs with the stretch cotton lace waist and these were £4.50 each and I got them both in like pinky coloured knickers pink and purple and so um, yeah I think that the cotton lace waist is so comfortable they are really really nice so yeah I got two packs of those I got some of the oval cosmetic pads which are 90 pence so I got myself three t-shirts the first one is a Harry Potter t-shirt which has got Dumbledore's army on the front and this one cost me six pounds and that one is a size small which is a 10 to 12 I got this printed t-shirt which again is a size 10 to 12 and this has got loves me not on the front with the little daisies and so I thought that was really cute and I also got this printed t-shirt which I had to get it in a medium which is a size 10 to which is a size 12 to 14 and this has got little bees on it and I think that might be a little daisy but yeah I thought that this was really really cute and they only had it in a medium but I thought I'm sure I'll be able to get away with a um a size 12 to 14 so uh yeah I bought that as well so I'm really pleased with those t-shirts now I did get myself a couple of pairs of shoes I got a brown pair of flatties that are just like a suede effect now these were four pounds and so uh, yeah just a pair of flat little pump style type shoes and I also got a pair of flatties in pink with a little bow on the front and these were £3.50 now I also got myself a The Little Mermaid little brush and mirror compact and so it's got The Little Mermaid on the front and unfortunately one of the little beads has come off of the front. I don't know if it's in the bottom of this bag. No, I think it must have been already off of it when I bought it and I just didn't notice it. But uh, yeah, when you open it up, it's got a little mirror and it has got the little brush as well. Now, um, I do have one of these in my bag already, but it's a really old one and so I thought this one would be perfect for replacing that really old little compact that I carry in my bag. It's just unfortunate that that has come off of the front of it. I'm quite sad that that's come off of the front. But yeah, the Little Mermaid little brush compact for my bag. Now the very last item is these little hair grips and this was three pounds for a two pack I saw these and I thought they were really pretty and I don't often put clips and things like that in the hair but when I saw these I thought I'll get them and I might try just putting my top of my hair up and just clipping this bit off of my face um, but yeah I will have a little bit of a experiment with these and maybe I might just like clip this off of my face maybe but yeah I always just blow dry my hair straight and I just leave it down and that is all I do I don't really do much with my hair at all I would love to be one of these people that can do different hairstyles and 
yeah I'd love to be able to like put plaits and stuff like that and braids in my hair but I'm just not good at it at all and so yeah I just leave my hair down um but yeah when I saw these I thought they are really pretty and so I will um I will buy them and I'll see if I do actually use them but uh yeah I don't usually use hair clips but yeah I thought I'll try them because they are very cute so that's it from me and my little high street haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, then please do subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really would help my channel to grow. Now, I am almost at 200 subscribers. So once I hit 200 subscribers, I will be doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. And so, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that giveaway but uh, yeah thank you ever so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video all right then thank you bye